Alzheimer's is a terminal illness. It's the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, and in areas with a higher percentage of older adults, it's even higher. For instance, in my county of San Diego, it's recognized as the third leading cause of death. It is the only disease in the top 10 that has no prevention, no cure, and no survivors. There are no miracle drugs and no medications that alter or slow the progression of the disease. It's the most common type of dementia. Let's start by clearing up the relationship of Alzheimer's and dementia. Dementia describes a group of symptoms affecting mental abilities which interfere with daily functioning. It's an umbrella term which covers anywhere from 50 to 100 types of dementia depending on which report you read. Sometimes the symptoms of dementia are caused by things such as vitamin deficiencies, depression, or alcohol abuse, and as a result, can be corrected. This is why it's very important to get a proper diagnosis. As mentioned, Alzheimer's is the most common. Frontotemporal, Lewy body, Parkinson's, or vascular are other types of dementia, just to name a few. It is believed that abnormal deposits of proteins form amyloid plaques and tau tangles throughout the brain. These clumps and tangles were first identified by Dr. Alzheimer in 1906. When this happens, healthy neurons stop functioning, lose connections with other neurons, and die. So those pathways no longer exist. This results in physical damage to the brain from the deterioration. As a result, Alzheimer's disease is classified as an irreversible degenerative disease. As you can see in the pictures, we have a healthy brain on the left, but on the right we have the results of what Alzheimer's can do to the brain. It's believed the progression of the disease generally starts in the hippocampus area of the brain. The hippocampus is responsible for creating memories, and this is why loss of short-term memory is generally the first symptom that people notice. In these images, you can see how the disease progresses and affects different areas of the brain. The progression may last anywhere from 2 to 20 years, and it may start much earlier than anyone realizes. Alzheimer's is much more than a memory disease. As the degeneration spreads throughout the brain, different areas of the brain become affected. The individual may begin to experience other symptoms such as additional memory issues, language and speech difficulties, impaired judgment or reasoning, decline in critical thinking abilities, problems with visual and spatial perceptions, various issues with other senses such as hearing or smell, some people even hallucinate smells with some types of dementia. I have an online friend who often smells things burning when they are not. Motor skills are also eventually affected. As of 2015, it's estimated that 47 million people worldwide have some form of dementia. And as previously mentioned, Alzheimer's is the most common. Worldwide, there's one new case every 3.2 seconds which is 27,000 per day, or over 9.6 million annually. Just take a moment and think about that. From the time you pushed play on this video until now, there have been over 30 new cases worldwide, and these numbers are only expected to grow as our population continues to age. Alzheimer's is possibly the most complicated caregiving situation a family can face, so continue to educate yourself to fight back and don't go forward alone. We are together in this.